Welcome to 4D's CAD Learning AutoCAD Architecture 2011 tutorial series. We'd like to spend a few minutes to give you an overview of this course, to highlight some of the major aspects of the course, as well as discuss some of the features of working with this tutorial series. We'll also take a look at the learning objectives, as well as the search and navigation capability, to find the exact content you are looking for. Finally, I will introduce myself. I am responsible for developing and delivering this course. In this tutorial series, you will learn all about the features and functions of AutoCAD Architecture 2011 that will help you create your design and construction drawings. We have divided this course up into 21 logical chapters that you can take in sequence. With a total of 310 lessons, you may also search to find just the particular lessons on the topics you are looking for. Our content is very granular. With lessons approximately four to six minutes in length, they may be resequenced and reordered so that you may watch them at any time and in any sequence you wish. We have included individual lessons so that you may understand the topic as a standalone lesson. And we have lessons where we use the tools on a project where you'll actually see how the software is being used. And better yet, we've included the data sets that the instructors use as part of their demonstrations and presentations, so if you have AutoCAD architecture software, you may actually follow along or try the same examples the instructors have done on your own. After you complete the entire course, you will be able to understand the unique tools not found in AutoCAD to work in an object environment. How to create a building design from scratch using templates and the vast architectural content available in the product. Work in both 2D and 3D and understand how to navigate in your drawings. Build models that you may extract views from and annotate, even early conceptual models, and show how you may start simple and swap in higher levels of details as your design progresses. Use and create your own content and content in your projects. Understand and use the drawing management system to reduce coordination errors and organize your project files. Create compelling visual representations of your projects by using the program's rendering tools. We've added additional search capabilities. With our keyword search, for example, if you type in mullion or frame, you will not only find lessons that refer to window, but also to curtain wall. And for those of you coming from the previous release of AutoCAD architecture, and you simply want to know what the new features are, by typing in 2011 or new feature or new features, this will navigate you directly to a list of lessons with the new functionality that has been added for AutoCAD Architecture 2011. We have taken a team approach in developing the content for this and other 4D courses. I will be your instructor and have worked in the architectural community prior to becoming a professional trainer. I am a registered architect with 30 years of experience, including experience in the field, as well as 15 years of training experience, which includes consulting, corporate training, and software implementation through and for various Autodesk training centers, value-added resellers, and a private consulting practice. I have used AutoCAD architecture, formerly known as Architectural Desktop, since it was first released, and have had numerous speaking and teaching engagements. Thank you for joining us, and welcome. We look forward to assisting your exploration of AutoCAD architecture as you use our self-paced tutorial series.